Hi, welcome back to Pretty Hair is Fun. Today we're gonna to be doing five quick and easy back to school hairstyles for short hair or pixie cuts, and let's get into it. Alrighty, so my first back to school hairstyle is actually what I have right now. So all I've done is I actually just let my hair air dry after getting out of the shower, and then I just took a flat iron like this, and then I just went and curled my hair under. I just take pieces like this and go like that, just to flip it under, just to give myself a little bit of texture. And then as well, I went through and hairsprayed it a little bit just to give it some light texture and hold and a little bit of body, just to make those curls look a little bit more defined and give my, help, my hair a little bit more of a feathered look. Um, and I help, that helped me to be able to poof up the back a little bit just to give myself the shape of that pixie cut that I really want. Um, and that's my first hairstyle. Alrighty, for my second hairstyle, I'm actually just gonna put in a headband. This one is super simple. I have these two cute headbands. They're super wide and I can adjust them to however wide I want them. Um, so I'm actually gonna use a white one. But all I'm going to do is I'm just gonna put this over my head and I'm going to adjust the front pieces tuck some behind my ears, just so I have the little pieces in front that I want. And then I'm just gonna stretch it up over, like you would with a regular headband, and get my earrings stuck in it. Um, and then I'm just going to place it just like that, so that I have my little bangs out in front. And then I just like to spread out my headband just a little bit. And fix some of these hairs that are coming out in the back. Just adjust it to how I want it to look so it's not bunchy up in the front. And then I just adjust my hair, fix the back a little bit, pull out my little front pieces. And that is my second look. For my third hairstyle, I'm just going to do a simple twist braid. And what I'm going to do is I'm just going to take this little section right here and I'm actually going to take a little bit of hairspray, maybe if I don't throw it first. I'm going to take a little bit of hairspray and spray this because my hair is very slippery by nature and I have a hard time holding on to it. So I'm just going to take this and I'm just going to split it in half and I'm going to start twist braiding and I'm just going to be picking up pieces on both sides for the first little bit just to make sure I have a defined looking twist braid shape. And I really like doing this hairstyle if I don't have a ton of time, or if I'm going out to exercise, or if I just really want those bangs on my face. So now I'm just gonna start picking up pieces just from the front, I'm just gonna twist it, just holding it with one hand, kind of like you would twisting it to get ready for a twist braid, I guess. And I'm leaving out the little hairs that go out to my little point, again, just to accentuate that. And I'm just gonna take a bobby pin, open it up, and I'm just going to stick it up into the braid. To secure it. And then I'm just going to adjust, and again, fix the back poof, just to make sure I have that shape tuck some things behind my ears. And depending on how I'm feeling, I'll sometimes do one on the other side. I'm gonna do that now, just because I think it'll look better. So this is my hairspray again. Spray myself right in the face. And I'm just going to start twisting. Again, leaving my little point pieces out. And I'm just gonna grab another bobby pin push it up into the braid to secure it. And then just adjust those pieces over the top. And then I like tucking these pieces behind my points, behind my ears. And then that is my third hairstyle. Alrighty, for hairstyle number four, I'm just gonna be doing two bubble braids. So I'm just going to be parting my hair in the middle I thought I had the wrong feather comb with it. Ah, oh, all of the hairspray is not my friend. <laughs> I would not recommend doing this after having done three other hairstyles where you put a lot of hairspray in your hair. PSA, doesn't feel great. 
Alrighty. So the first step for this is you're just gonna take an elastic and I'm just gonna put it in between my teeth just so I can hold on to it. Um, and you're just going to portion off a little part. I like to have it halfway down the back of my part and just in line with like the center of my eyebrow. And I'm gonna force, try to force the rest of my hair to lay down. And I just take the elastic and I'm just going to put a little ponytail right here, maybe. And then I just like to pull it tight and poof this up. Just like that. And then I'm going to go back a little bit farther and up a little bit farther, just like right before the end of my eyebrow and grab more hair. For another ponytail. And because my hair is so short, I typically don't do more than two. And you take that first ponytail in it with it as well. And you'll just tie that off. Yes, as I was saying, I usually don't take more than two ponytails just because I don't technically have a ton of, I don't have a ton of hair to do that. But I'm just going to take this ponytail and poof it up to make it into a little bubble. And then I'm just going to do the exact same thing on the other side. So I'm just going to portion from here, the center of my eyebrow. Take a little chunk of hair. And a pig ponytail, a pigtail. Yep, same thing. And make a cartoon character little pigtail on top of your head. Pull it tight. Poof it up if you feel like it. And then grab your next section of hair. Again, from just about the end of your eyebrow to like the end of your part-ish, crown of your head, general vicinity. I don't know, however far you want it to go back. It also depends on how many ponytails you want to put in. And then I'll just take another ponytail. And ponytail it all together. And then pull it tight and bubble up your braid. Adjust the hair in front. I like to tuck those pieces. And my hair actually has a cowlick right here, so all my hair tends to flip this way. So I have to sit and fight it to get my bump to go where I want it. So yet again, more hairspray <laughs> to get it to stay how I want it. And then I like to go through and make these a little bit bigger again. And that is the fourth hairstyle. Alrighty, so for my fifth hairstyle, I'm just gonna do two twist braids right on top of my head, two going straight back. And to do that, I'm just gonna take a comb and I'm just going to part my hair down the middle. And rake through all the hairspray. Get a cute little swoop going. But I'm gonna take the hairspray, I'm just gonna spritz it again just for that hold. And I'm just going to take a piece right here, and I'm just going to start twisting back. And I'm going to try and keep a straight line going as I pull in hair. And I'm going to stop it right there, and I'm just going to take a bobby pin. and I'm just gonna push it right up into the braid. Just like that. And then I'm just gonna do the exact same thing on the other side. So add a little hairspray, or a lot, I guess. 
and pick up the hair and just start twisting straight back, trying to keep that straight part going. Once you get to where you want it, take a bobby pin, push it right up into the braid, and then I like to pull the front just a little bit. And now is the time to go through and readjust just to figure out how you want the back to look. Up to get the comb, just try and smooth it down a little bit. And then again, I just tuck these pieces up in front that aren't my little points. Try and get any wayward hairs to lay down. Tuck them under the bobby pin, my toes. And that is hairstyle number five. I hope you enjoyed these five hairstyles. I really like them. Um, leave us comments down below if you have a pixie cut or what you're doing for school. Are you going back online or are you going back in person? We would love to hear what you guys are up to and make sure to hit that subscribe button and check out all of these other videos. We'll be putting our short hair playlist right up here in the corner for you guys and we hope we shall see you next time.